All right, welcome to Bad Angle Friday, Saturday. Let's move the bra out of the way. I'm gonna be lazy and I'm not even gonna bother editing this, but um, tuning the ukulele by ear. Um, especially with a lot of cheaper ukuleles. Um, let me back up to the beginning. People will tell you that you should tune your ukulele by going five, four, five, if you're tuning it to itself. And like with my baritone ukulele, that is, that's how I tune it because I know that these frets ring true. But on a lot of cheaper ukuleles, and I know, the person I'm making this for is Joe, and I know that Joe doesn't have a cheap ukulele because Joe and I have the same ukulele, except his is electroacoustic. But um, on my first ukulele, the fourth fret came out sharp. So when I tried to tune it to itself, it wouldn't tune accurately. So that's where I picked up the tune it to itself by itself, uh, and that's, I think that in, you do need a tuner to get things in order, but on some ukuleles I feel like it's better to tune it to itself than it is to tune it to a tuner. If it plays a little bit sharp or a little bit weird on a fret, if you tune it to itself it's gonna sound in tune with itself, even if your frets are off. Um, but so the first thing that I do is take the E string, fret it on the third fret, and the, that and the G string should be the same. And then you can adjust either of those. I usually tune my, tune my E string and my C string with a tuner and then do the G and the A. But so on your, on your G string, especially if you're playing a high G ukulele, which I know Joe is, um, you can do the second fret on the G string. My A string is flat. And then you just keep adjusting that. When you tune down too, always pull on your string a little bit. Oops, that's the other way. Look at me taking forever to tune. So those should play the same note, and then on the third string of the, or the third fret of the A string, uh, you should you can tune your C. I just tuned my E string. And then sometimes I check by doing the fourth fret on my uh, C string to see if it's sharp or flat, because I'm really bad at tuning that octave. <laughs> That's what up. So it really, as you can see here, if, you, if you're tuning to it yourself and you fret the right strings, you get it in tune better. But third fret on your E string should play the same note as your G string. Second fret on your G string should play the same note as your A string. Third fret on your A string should play the octave of your C string, and the fourth fret on your C string should play your E string, but I don't like going by that because I used to have a ukulele that played sharp. The other reason why you might be getting out of tune with yourself is if you're bending your strings on accident, if you, you know, if it's not quite in line, you can pull your string on accident and make it sharp. Uh, that's... Useful if you're trying to get that sound, but not so useful otherwise. Anyway, this has been How to Tune Your Ukulele by Ear, Baff Splained to You by Pink Goswitz. I just tried to turn off my phone by using the mouse on my keyboard. I'm good at this.